Hey everyone, Rachel Varga here, registered nurse. I'm what you would consider an advanced or expert nurse in the field of cosmetic dermatology and rejuvenation. I've helped thousands of clients from all over the world since 2011 achieve beautiful, glowing, and healthy looking skin. Medical grade skincare truly is one of the key pieces of the puzzle to help you get the skin that you really want. The truth is we are all wonderfully and beautifully made. And there's loads to know about which products and procedures are right for you and how to make the smartest choices and save you loads of money along the way. Let's get started. This is the first video in this skincare series that's going to focus on medical grade options. And I want to forewarn you, it's going to be a little bit of a doozy because I'm actually really going to get into the science of being beautiful. Rest assured, I will share with you everything that I've learned from my eight years of post-secondary, including my bachelor's of science in nursing and one year in Gen Chem, Organic Chem and Biochem. So I'm definitely what you would consider a bit of a beauty guru and a big time science nerd. On top of my post-secondary education, I also attend ongoing conferences on various different topics such as skincare, skin and laser treatments and injectables and also body surgeries from places all over the world, including Vancouver, Toronto, Las Vegas, San Diego, and beyond. In this video, we're really going to dig deep into the biggest differences between medical grade skincare and over the counter skincare. What I mean by this is over the counter skincare is what you get at your local pharmacy, whether that's your department store, your local spa, your chemist or your drugstore. A lot of times those products will have lower active ingredients and not as optimal delivery systems as say medical grade. Medical grade products are what you access at your doctor's office or at your med spa or at your plastic surgeon's office. So the type of clinic that I work in, we offer medical grade skincare options. Really you actually have to meet with a provider before you can essentially be prescribed these products that have higher levels of active ingredients to make sure that you're using it right. So the biggest difference between medical grade and over the counter is science. It's all science. The secret to being beautiful on the inside and out is really understanding how to maximize what you do every single day to help you be as beautiful as possible. Let's look at some key differences between the two over the counter medical grade items. First off, it's going to be the source of the ingredients. There is a chemist that makes every type of product that you use, whether it's your laundry detergent, your cleaning products, your self-care items. That chemist basically has to source ingredients. So oftentimes if you're using like a lower quality mass produced product that you get at your drugstore, say for example a cleanser, that's $7 versus a cleanser that might be $36 to $60 from a doctor's office, they're going to have varying levels of things like glycolic acid and salicylic acid, which is really important for actually chemically exfoliating and properly cleansing the skin. On top of where these different companies are sourcing their ingredients, you actually wanna look at the concentration of the ingredients also. So you've probably heard concentrations being more related to like a 10% vitamin C or a vitamin A or retinol cream that has a little percentage on it. The level of concentration of your active ingredients is important so that you're actually getting the proper dose and something that's going to be therapeutic for your skin to help your skin properly exfoliate and prevent things like acne. Next, the stability of the formula is really important. So something, for example, like a vitamin C, it actually readily oxidizes. And if a vitamin C serum oxidizes, what happens is it can become a free radical. And free radicals are things that are produced in our bodies all the time during metabolism. But free radicals are also produced in the skin when we get UV exposure. The last thing that we want to be doing are applying products onto our skin that are no longer stable and can actually be causing more harm than good. So a really high quality medical grade skincare product is going to have more of an emphasis on making sure that those active ingredients like your vitamin C doesn't go rancid and it stays effective and doesn't damage the skin. Next, we're going to talk about the delivery system and something called bioavailability. The delivery system of a product is really important. So you've probably heard of an ingredient called hyaluronic acid. 
Well, hyaluronic acid comes in a number of different molecular sizes. We're getting into the science here. When using products that contain hyaluronic acid, you wanna make sure that the size of that hyaluronic acid molecule is actually getting absorbed in the skin. A lot of people don't know this, and they just look on the back of the ingredients of an item and they say, oh, it has this, it has this, it has that. There can be really big molecular size hyaluronic acid molecules. What happens when you use a lower quality product that has hyaluronic acid in it, it's basically too big to actually absorb into the skin. So it just stays on top of the skin and doesn't actually get delivered into the skin to tell the skin cells to be happy and healthy and make things like collagen and elastin, which is really the aim of the game here. We want to be providing nutrients to our skin. So when you look at a medical grade formulation, that chemist would have taken the time to source that hyaluronic acid to make sure it's coming from a really high grade medical grade facility that produces it and then making sure that that HA molecule can actually properly penetrate the skin. The way that this is determined is through research. Some of the smaller, well, they're actually pretty big mass produced drugstore lines, but I don't really think that they do much research on their products. So medical grade, they do wanna back up their claims because these different companies and their reps are meeting with someone like myself and we're like, well, we wanna know how this works. What's the research? How long was the research performed? How many people was this research performed on? Was it a punch biopsy study? Were you looking at differences in photography with the skin over time? There's many ways to analyze if a product is effective or not. And research is one of them. It's all science. Another way I like to describe the differences between medical grade and over-the-counter products is when you go to your naturopath and pick up your supplements from your naturopath, as opposed to trying to get those same supplements over the counter from the drugstore, you're probably going to be getting a better formulated and more active and even a cleaner product from the professional that's taken the time to source the best supplements in their opinion. It's kind of like meeting with someone like myself. We kind of do that sifting for you to see what works on a huge number of clients, like thousands of clients I've helped since 2011. So when I make recommendations for different skincare products, it's actually related to what I've seen work on a huge group of people also. And over time, these are people that I'm doing follow-ups with, I'm taking photos, all that good stuff. If people don't like a formula, they're gonna tell me. But if you're picking up products at say your drugstore, department store, online, or some of these bigger stores that you know have the beauty cream, this, that, and everything, and you have a pretty salesperson offering you this item, think twice because what's their background in skincare? Or have they had about eight years post-secondary education under their belt, like yours truly? I'd love to know how you are going to implement this knowledge on understanding the difference between over-the-counter and medical grade products. I really hope that you're going to start making smarter decisions with your skincare and not just picking things up from say, social media ads that you'll see on Facebook or Instagram, but really consult with professionals like myself that can kind of guide you along the way to give you the right products for your skin type. In the next video in this series, we are going to talk about cleansers and how to help you pick out the best cleanser for your skin type, because there's so much to know. I can't just say, oh, here, use this lovely cleanser because different people from different skin types are going to have various different needs. Change of season, there's so many different things to take into account when even selecting a basic cleanser. So let me know in the comments below how you're going to integrate this knowledge. Let me help you stay on your path towards really understanding the signs of being beautiful on the inside and out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time right here. For more info and guidance, please be sure to check out rachelvarga.ca. This is a really great place for you to spend your time and attention on to help you understand how you can be healthier on the inside and out, which is definitely going to have a trickle down effect into other areas of your health and wellness for yourself and others.